The World Health Organization estimates that more than 1 billion people worldwide are suffering from diseases of the central nervous system, CNS. MS is an inflammatory, demyelinating disease and the leading cause of non-traumatic neurological disability in young adults. MS is estimated to affect 2.5 million people worldwide. Current standard therapies of MS include anti-inflammatory and symptomatic treatments. Although relapse occurrence and duration are reduced by means of these therapies, no regeneration is achieved and there are no treatments for the progressive forms of MS. Therefore, MS is still a degenerative disease that leads to disability of patients in their most productive years. The blood-brain barrier, BBB, acts as a gateway for what can reach the brain. It regulates the exchange of substances between the blood and the brain, partly actively and partly passively. At the same time, it acts as a protective shield by preventing harmful substances circulating in the bloodstream from entering the brain fluid. It is virtually impenetrable, except for some brain nutrients. Most drugs cannot cross this barrier, and nearly all macromolecules, such as proteins and antibodies, fail to cross the BBB. Therapeutic antibodies are banned from the central nervous system. Due to the existence and operating principle of the BBB, the treatment of CNS diseases, especially with biomolecules like antibodies, is one of the greatest challenges of modern medicine. With the Nose to Brain Patch, 11 partners from 8 countries are joining forces to improve the treatment of multiple sclerosis. Nose to Brain Patch stands for nose to brain delivery of antibodies via the olfactory region for the treatment of multiple sclerosis using novel multifunctional biomaterials combined with a medical device. We aim to develop a drug delivery system that is practical and minimally invasive and implies innovative APIs directly from the nose to the brain by bypassing the blood-brain barrier. Our partners support the whole process. From the formulation as the basis containing the API, molecular dynamic simulations and numerical computational approaches that support the whole process. The preparation for medical application, a device to apply the drug, scale up and process optimization to reach commercial light scale, experimental validation, and finally, a proof of concept and preclinical validation. Within the last four to five years, the N2B Patch Consortium joined its forces to develop three major outputs biomaterial based drug particles integrating an innovative active pharmaceutical ingredient. API, a hydrogel formulation as a minimally invasive carrier, and the applicator device as an integral part of the functional and minimally invasive system for the treatment of MS. Therapeutic antibodies are biopharmaceuticals which are widely used in the treatment of cancer, autoimmunity and inflammatory diseases. The antibody's stability influences its performance. The innovative multifunctional particle-based galenic formulation of N2B patch will therefore shield sensitive antibody drugs and maintain their drug's bioactivity. The desirable antibody drug delivery will be based on a controlled release from the carrier particles. Various particle production methods are used for this purpose, such as spray drying, among others. Hydrogels are three-dimensional, cross-linked networks of hydrophilic polymers. The hydrogels in N2B patch were developed and evaluated as potential matrix carriers that can be used in nasal drug delivery targeting the olfactory region. Nice. Right, the company was founded in 1937. In the former times we made molds for gearboxes. In the 70s and 80s we changed the production to automotive injection molds, especially for headlamps and rear lamps. Five years ago, we tried to find an, another part of our business development. We changed to the medicine sector. In the N2B patch project, we had the opportunity to get in a new technology. It's called 3D printing. With this new technology, we are able to design some parts in, in the 3D. 
and then we can immediately print it out and, and have a handsome model. We worked hard on the development of this intranasal patch. This patch is applied at the olfactory mucosa, at the so-called olfactory cleft, and it releases drugs that travel then. Here usually we have the brain that they travel to the CNS and can release their activity. We have really good results from a non-clinical proof of concept study. Here we could show that this uh, patch can be produced with the help of an applicator reproducibly in 12 individuals and that this patch is stable over five days at least. We also tested the olfaction of the individuals, so if their um, test of smelling or tasting is hampered by the, by the patch and here we couldn't see any differences. And finally we tested the nasal microbiome, so if the bacteria which we normally have in the nose, if they are changed by the patch or if that patch is uh, a kind of uh, where, where they can grow and we saw also no difference by the application of the patch over five days. The technology developed by the Nose to Brain project may also be suitable for the use of different pharmaceutical ingredients as a platform technology. This drug delivery platform may also support the treatment of central nervous system disorders like stroke, neurodegenerative diseases or tumors. The scale-up and GMP-like manufacturing were successful and may also be exploited to reduce time and cost to market and to also provide wider options to the patient. N2B patch advantages. Patient's quality of life. Sustainability and environment. Reduction of costs. Personalized medicine. Patient's quality of life. Patients affected by demyelinating diseases such as MS and their surroundings pay a high price in terms of quality of life. Treatments targeting inflammation of the central nervous system may potentially lead to increased risk of serious side effects and the number of required applications is often high. N2B Patch hopes to significantly improve this situation while reducing patient intervention, contributing to increased independence and more social inclusion. Sustainability and environment a positive side effect of using biomaterials and minimizing the quantity of required doses is the reduction of the environmental burden, for example, for the water cycle. Reduction of costs. It is anticipated that N2B patch may reduce direct treatment costs due to a considerably lower intranasal dose. It is expected that reduced disability may lead to a direct reduction in the costs of nursing care and, most likely, a reduction of indirect costs also. Therefore, it is anticipated that N2B patch may not only have a considerable positive impact for European citizens and MS patients, but may, consequentially, reduce the burden of costs on the European health and social care systems. Personalised medicine The medical treatment using the N2B patch technology can be fitted to the individual characteristics needs and preferences during all stages of care, treatment and follow-up, providing the right patient with the right drug at the right dose at the right time. This project has received funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme under grant agreement number 721098.